Well, this is a story about Chance, the cat that I just found that got hit by a car. <sighs> okay, well, there was this uh, guy that was uh, born in July. He was either a Leo or a Cancer. He walked by and he told me he was he's gonna get a rock to uh, hit it out of its misery but I didn't know about that he didn't know and then he says he doesn't want to watch it suffer like that and so he walked off and then I took the cat and I carried it with some big leaves because I'm allergic and I didn't want to touch it completely but I brought it out of the road and that's how I was wondering what to do with it because it's breathing real heavy then I um, came across this Pisces riding a bicycle and I told him this cat's still alive and it just got hit by a car what should we do with it and um he had the same idea to knock him out of its misery but it was a girl, and uh, she um, called her friend, and she called her friend the cat whisperer, and that was really sweet, but didn't get hold of her. Then I told her to, to maybe we should call the FSPD, because I remember going to the pet clinic looking for a cat yesterday and today is um september 2nd 2016 1 38 a.m and we called that they they called the fspd uh humane society and they said they didn't have any people available to come pick up the cat so, I'm going to call them and ask them if I could take the cat over there and if they're still open or whatever's going on. Um, because it's still breathing really heavily and everything. And the Pisces, um, uh, has nothing else that it could do, they could do. So, I walked the cat inside this piece of, um... I don't know what it's called, but it's something to a house. I forgot what it's called. And it took me a long time. I'm finally here and just sticking with it. Keep in that cat's real tough because it, it stood up a little bunch of times and then it just went back down and just breathes real heavy and kind of lays on its face sometimes. And I don't know what position to put it in. I put it in a position to where it like stays on its hind legs and back legs so if it wants to sit up it can and um i just don't know what to do but call all the rest of the humane societies and see if i can take it over there and um whatever so that's what i gonna do let me see if i can call him are you still with us here it is here here's his blood She's bleeding all over its neck. You see her? Little blood. Over the car. You know. 
Uh, I found this cat. It got hit by a car, and it's breathing still. And I found it last night. Is okay. Is there a way y'all can pick it up, or I just come take it to you? That's okay. That is really okay. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Here I go. I'm gonna go take the cat now. It's still breathing. Keep one on here. Here. Here you go. Can you breathe now? Then I can breathe better. We'll just have to see about tomorrow's morning. That little chance. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. I got hit by a car. And I found it. Found. And he was like, oh, I tell you something. See
Yeah. A little champ. Champ. Yeah. Champ. I hit by a car and he's up. Okay. Okay, well, I did it. I took the dog, I mean, the cat, to the Humane Society. And I just went in there and I asked that person what their straw his son was the, at the counter. And he was in a Pisces. So I just started rambling about being a stupid ass psychic Pisces myself, Cusp Aquarius. And then, you know, I asked them if I could uh, check up on Chance, which is, that's what we named it, called it, whatever, and um, if it lives, I want to keep it, if it's taken care of first or whatever, probably, because, like, whatever, and then if it dies, I'm still going to, um, like, check up on it and see if they put to sleep instead of having to throw a rock on its head. Take the three people up. Like, all three guys that I wa that walked past and, uh, uh, me while I was carrying the cat. So, the, one of the, uh, characters, uh, I think it was a girl. <laughs> I don't really know for sure. But, it looked, you know, he or she, whatever, um... I don't know why I said that I don't like that. Um, just the person that was a Pisces, you know, um, stuck around and was calling people to get it, and that was nice. Um, they, they are the ones that were, uh, pretty nice, so that was good on them. And then I walked by a Taurus, he, he just got freaked out, he says, I don't have anything. I don't know what he means by that, like, I was carrying around this big, um, um, piece of, um, wall, or whatever it's called, and, um, 
I guess they just got scared by that and said, you know, because when I walk by people, people walk by me. I can, ah, get scared. And when I see a dead body, like an animal in the road or somewhere, I get scared and it freaks me out. I scream and I feel like I'm going to call for help. It's like, um, yeah, but in this cold, cold, cruel, ridiculously ignorant, robotic, dumb world that a lot of, you know, pod people you get surrounded by too much, um, makes you kind of have a dead sight to those people because that's what they are to, to we are to them or whatever and or something like that and it just makes you think that they have no conscious and you're the only one that has the consciousness walking around or whatever and it makes you forget that you hate you can you can be yourself and treat the animal like it's a real person inside there. That little animal body, you know, that little fur body. It's a real person. It's a real soul, and it's gonna live for eternity too. And um, it's just like that, and it's just really weird. So, toodles, bye. That was my chance. Story, sorry I didn't get to film and I forgot to bring the camera because I was carrying around the cat inside of a trash bag but its face was outside of the trash bag it's because I'm allergic I cleaned up the cat you know the blood all fell all of it and then um, it dried out in the sun where it wanted it to be anyways and then I put it in the sack and I left its head hanging out like an uh, Eskimo and um you know, I carried it to them, and I signed the papers, and talked to this one chick, and she said we, we put them to sleep with, um, some big word, I don't even know, instead of putting a rock on its head, like, and I was like, I know, right? I was so repulsive, really retarded, and it's kind of an interesting story, it kind of makes me feel like, <laughs> just like... I don't know, I just feel like I just gave, just give up your comfort zone and your, um, convenience, and you just give yourself to serving what matters, or the god, or whatever, I mean, I feel like, woohoo, extra gold star for me that I, um, Gave the cat to the Humane Society, but it left its suffering overnight because at my house, because there's nothing I thought I could do, and it was breathing the whole time, just, <laughs> you know, and it's just crazy. So glad that's over with, that I could uh, basically semi-help the cat or just be there for it because it would have just been in the road and other people would probably run it over and put it out the mystery that way. But, you know, at least the guy at time, and I talked to it, and I prayed for it, and I told it, you know, what could possibly happen. But I told it it was a really tough cat, and it probably was going to live, and it's, who knows. But I'd get it out of there if it's taken care of and ready to go home to home. But I'm going to go check on it, call that place, like, and in a week or something, you know, give it time, see how it's doing, if it, they put it to sleep or not, because it's a pretty bad condition, but it had the right to walk a little bit, I mean, it could just be sedated and until it rehabilitated itself and healed, so that's it, to the fucking loo, I'm so bored and so tired and exhausted, goodbye. Now it's for the next life, next movie in my life, scene, clip, cut, action, fuck it, bye, toodaloo. Give me some thumbs up or some fuck yous, I don't give a fuck, I just want to document some shit in my life, just to fucking vent or something.